Welcome to Livelihoods Day here at the Rio Conventions Pavilion. I'm joined by two lovely ladies and their absolutely fabulous pieces of artwork. We've got Yvette and Maya. Let's start with you, Yvette. Um, where are you from and whose ideas, whose idea was this fabulous art? I'm from the Philippines and this idea on having a paper mache exhibit at the COPE 11 is for Gopher Biodive. It's, it's a project supported by ACB, the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, and GIZ. And Maya, give us an idea about why you chose these particular crabs, fish, animals. Um, why did you choose these particular creatures to make um, uh, art out of? Um, it wasn't actually us. It was um, Dr. Seibert who decided to choose the Paeta. Paeta is the place in the Philippines where you can get artisans who make the uh, paper mache and um, sculptures and stuff. And he thinks that it, it's the best time for them to give out back to the community and help the community and do something that is um, um, environmentally friendly. And what, what community are we talking about? Um, it's called Paeta. Paeta in Laguna. And Laguna is in what, what part of the Philippines? Uh, Luzon, southern Luzon. And tell me a bit about these. So what sort of fish is this? It looks, a, um, it looks rather a fat fish, actually. What sort of fish is it? This is a mud skipper. Uh -huh. And this is a fiddler crab. Uh -huh. And fiddler crabs, they, they use their big um, claw to wave when they see another female crab. So I find this really funny. So the crabs, the crabs looking out for females. How long did it take um, all of your all of your team and the community to make make all of these? Oh, we took one month because there is a giant that we brought along from the Philippines. We brought along four giants, and one setup is placed in High Tex One. It's a composition about mangrove forest, uh, from its purity stage to its degrading stage, and to a vision of the future where children and, man and nature can work together. And how important are mangrove forests in, in the Philippines? Our marine biologist strongly suggests to our team that we use the mangrove for this COP11 team because they are a strong force in climate change mitigation because they, they keep a lot of, they sequester a lot of carbon into their soil. And, and Maya, what's, what do you think is the awareness of um, biodiversity and climate change issues like in the Philippines? Um, actually, you know, it's, it's very, um, climate change is very, very broad, but for, for me, um, um, personally, I, um, I think we just need to work together and um, just uh, not to do some overconsumption, like, you know, and plant more trees. And that's very, very important. Okay, and, and final word to you, Yvette. What's going what's to be happening to all of these um, fabulous creatures when, uh, when COP11 finishes? Mm. Some schools are already interested to take them. We're looking into particularly um, a school whose directress is in charge of 70 other schools. So that gives a lot of chance for the exhibit to circulate around the, the region.